Hey there everyone, hope you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be create such lightings on MetaHuman of Unreal Engine 5 to get such cinematic results. And this is going to be done as soon as possible. And what I mean is creating such environments isn't that complicated. And this MetaHuman that I have used in my project is called Ziva and I have downloaded it from Quixel Bridge. So let's just go back to the Unreal Engine's user interface. So what I'm going to do is to delete the lights that I've used in this scene. And also I'm going to delete the camera so we can start from scratch. Okay, now let's just change the view mode to unlit so you can see that. I have used this MetaHuman on my project and nothing else, okay? It's just one MetaHuman on a surface. So let's just go back to lit mode and I'm going to add a rectangular light. Let me check, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to add a rectangular light to the project. Let's drag it over here. And let's just move it a little bit further on the metahuman that we've used. Yeah, let's rotate it like this. Yeah, it's okay. But let me just increase the field of view so we can better control our scene. Yeah, it seems fine. So I'm going to move this rectangular light a little bit closer to our metahuman. Yeah, I think this is okay. And now it is time to set our frame with a camera. So I'm going to drag a camera to my project. Yeah, let's move it a little bit close to our metahuman. And yeah, let's rotate that. And I'm going to change the viewport to the camera that I've placed. And let's move it. And let's focus on the face of this metahuman called Ziva. Yes, like this. And I'm going to use a 60 by 9 DSLR frame. And beside that, I'm going to choose 105 millimeter lens for that. Yeah, it looks much more better. But I need to focus on the eye of the Ziva. <laughs> I think this phrase is potentially a movie name, eye of the Ziva, but anyway, let's continue. I think we are close to the frame that we were looking for. Let's get a little bit away from Ziva and let's reset the focus and focal length on the eye of the Ziva. Let's set it again, yeah. And I think I'm going to set the aperture on two so I can get more depth of field and blurry areas. And let's add another viewport to our project so we can, let me change this to lit mode and I will drag it to here. And now I can see the results during the changes that I'm going to make on my scene. So let's select the light. And I think the shadows that we have on the metahuman's face are not kind of soft shadows and natural ones. So what I'm going to do is to search for the ray traced shadows on the details of the rectangular light that I've selected. So let's type the word ray. And here it is, cast ray trace shadows and I'm going to enable it and now you can see the difference let's just change it back to enable and here we have much more accurate shadows and soft ones and you can see the difference when I try to move the light upward and downward so let's just change it to the movable mode and I am going to set the intensity of this light let's just decrease it a little bit and 
I'm going to, I think, yeah, it's okay. And let's add another color to the light. Okay, I think this bluish color is great. And let's make another copy of this light by holding the Alt key and drag it to the left side. Let's rotate it the second light like this. And I'm going to make it a little bit closer to the metahuman. And look at the specular and the highlights that we made on the face of the Ziva. Let's just decrease the width of the second lights. And yeah, it's just totally great. Let's adjust the intensity. I'm going to decrease the intensity of this light. And let's make another copy. And I will place it on the right back side of this metahuman. And let's add some orange color to the third light that we created. I think, yeah, this is okay. And look at this. I think this is really great to get such results in such a short time. And let's just decrease the height and width of the third light because I want to get some sharp reflections from the face of the metahuman. And I think, yeah, let's make it like that. And look at the results. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. It's, it's perfect to get such results in such short time. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Let's just adjust a little bit further the camera, I mean. I'm going to reset the depth of field and focus on the eye of the Ziwa. I should title on this video, Eye of Ziwa. I think it's really cool name for a video or a movie even. And we did this in just seven minutes. Let's just move the lightings a little bit closer to the metahuman so we can get much more suspicious feelings. And yeah, it's really cool. If you like the content of this video and the tips was useful to you, you know how to feedback, just click on the like button. And don't miss the other Unreal Engine 5 videos on the channel. See you there.